What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a messy, messy, messy training guide style video, right? We are working and still working on a massive gameplay blowout uh, video for these three versions of Messi because people are literally asking me for a training guide video all the time, right? You're going to see the first goal there. We're going to see the second goal right now. Three goals, three different versions of Messi. We did pack the three versions of Messi thanks to the generosity on our live streams from Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So GG's to everybody, you know who you are. But listen, these are the most unique players that Konami have ever released. So you do need to be careful when you're training them up. I've seen players, I've seen really bad player builds for these Messi. And it's probably from people that really, aren't really testing out these Messi's and what their strengths are, right? Some players can get away with that. But you do not want to mess up three of the most game-changing players in the game at the moment, right? So these are the four versions of Messi's, including the free one. We're going to ignore the free one because I'm working on a dedicated video for that. And we'll talk about all of that in that video. But for these three guys, we are still working on the gameplay one. We're going to have tons of clips, show you tactics, formations, managers, tips and tricks of how to get the best out of these versions. But for now, we are going to focus on the training guys, right? So from left to right, you've got the Argent Argentina Messi, the World Cup winning Messi. You've also got your creative playmaker, attacking midfielder, I would say his best position. And then you've got the 101 uh, right wing forward that has just a burn and turn type player. Seriously, seriously fast and a rocket with 32 levels that you can train up. They've all got a booster. Deep line forward, creative playmaker in Roman flank. I would say that Argentina pack Messi has the best stats ever in any card ever. He's like Romario with the strength of Drogba and the speed of any player in the game that you could possibly want, right? Creative playmaker Messi is just your orchestrator. Everything goes through him. Pass it left, pass it right, touch and go. Possession game, one touch pass. He can shoot from distance, stunning shot, uh, curl shot. Anything you want to do with this Messi card, you can do from the middle of the pitch, right? I wouldn't use him out wide, and we'll go into that in the video, right? He's also got 33 levels, right? And then also the young version of Messi, who's basically one of the best wingers. I would say the best winger with Ribery now in the game. Maybe Cavara Donna still comes into it with the Showtime, Vinny Jr. But this Messi is in a league of his own if you train him right, which you're going to see in this build here, right? 32 levels with him. And you can actually get 100 speed and 101 acceleration with this card. And I would say that this Argentina Messi on the left is kind of the meta, right, at the moment in terms of how physically strong he is, lads. He literally just bounces off people because he's got such high physical contact. And I think I have a unique build. I haven't seen it anywhere else really yet. And it's from literally playing and testing out these three different versions of Messi. But if you want to get the best version of the card, let's check it out. All right, so let's crack into it, lads. We're going to do this in real time, right? Now, as I said, I am working on a gameplay one as well. It will show you a couple of different bits and pieces. But for this, I think I found the ultimate builds for every one of these cards, right? So as you see here, we've got this Lionel Messi starting. And these are the two reserve guys. We've also got the free one boosted up. I'll show you a graphic there in a second. But essentially what we're going to want to do is really just kind of like highlight uh, the best things about each card, right? So the first card build that we're going to look at here is, it's an insane card, right? Now, I was a little bit hesitant um, on this build at, at the start, but since I've put this build on, this guy has just turned into a monster, right? Now, bear in mind, this is going to take Ten Hag into account, which gives you plus one speed. Um, to his stat there but you're going to have 91 attack and awareness 90 ball control 103 dribbling and tight possession 90 finishing 96 curl 98 acceleration 90 physical contact and 97 balance so i don't think a lot of people are going to actually have this build um but usually when you're building players right it's all about kind of like strengthening what already makes them great okay so i don't need this Lionel messi for where i'm going to be playing him because he's kind of like a romario s type player I don't need him to be blisteringly fast like the other Messi we'll get to in a sec, like young Messi, okay? So this is the build we've gone for, okay? 8, 2, 6, 12, 10, 2. So the aerial strength is going to get a plus 6 boost because of his booster, plus 4 and then the manager booster. That is the build that we've gone with. It'll get you a 99 overall card, and that is obviously going to get you a 103 overall center forward Lionel Messi, who's down as a deep line forward. For additional skills, we actually threw fighting spirit on him there. We have chip shot control, we have first time shot, we have one touch pass, um, anything else that you can throw on him, you know, dipping shot we have, but knuckle shot would be nice on this guy as well. If you wanted to throw soul control, if you actually get soul control and flip flap on him, if you wanted to speed up those animations for the double touch or the ball roll, whatever you guys call it, uh, I do think that fighting spirit is going to be nice because the key stat with this guy lads is his physical contact. 
No other player in the game has these stats, these range of stats. 90 ball control, 100 plus dribbling and tight possession, 90 finishing, 98 acceleration, and 90 physical contact with 97 balance. So it's an incredible card. We're going to be playing him without being an orchestrator. We don't need passing on his card, okay? The next build that we're going to look at, lads, is going to be um, this Messi here, which is still a, a 27 center forward. But we're actually going to be using this Messi in a different role. So we're either going to use him as an AMF or we're going to use him as that SS. Not really a center forward run and gun. We're going to actually use him as our main kind of focal point for getting the ball into uh, our center forward or spreading it out wide or being able to shoot from distance. Now, we've kind of changed this build slightly since we played with it. As I said, you have to play with these Messies, man. Usually with cards, you can kind of just know with their player ID and their builds and stuff. But these messy cards, these three messy cards are the most unique cards they've ever released. They're, they don't follow any rules of the other builds, um, which is kind of interesting and unique. And I'll get into that in the gameplay video. But you can see it here. It's because they're hitting such massive thresholds for such a wide variety of stats. This guy, we're going to use him as our playmaker. It gives it away in the title. Creative playmaker as his uh, play style. Now, we have actually given Flip Flap to him as an additional skill because we're trying to get soul control. I would also definitely 100% want to throw a low lofted pass on as an additional skill okay um otherwise they're they're the stats right so we don't have that blister and speed and and we don't have massive stamina physical contact is like 40 points less or, or so and the low passing is into the 90s finishing is at 95 so all we're going to be doing with this messy is essentially using him for every single ball to go through if the wing isn't on touch and go shooting from distance curl shots spreading out wide cheeky chips you know, shooting from every angle that you possibly can, brilliant dribbling, brilliant tight possession, higher attack and awareness and finishing um, with this build, and of course, higher acceleration and balance there as well, just slightly. So there is the player progression guide for him, seven into shooting, zero into passing, six into dribbling, 15 into dexterity, and seven into lower body. Now, you might be thinking, well, if you're using him as your orchestrator, do I need higher passing than 91? Personally speaking, from testing this build, no, because you do want to get that 99 acceleration because of the 80 speed, right? You still want to have him zippy to be able to run and gun, but this is, you know, it is kind of with your play style. You could actually reduce the acceleration, maybe three or four points, and put it into passing. That's one thing that I will go over in the gameplay uh, when you're setting up different formations and tactics and stuff like that, right? But listen, you can't go wrong with these players, lads. And then last but not least, we do have young... Lionel Messi who goes to 104 here as well and this is the build that we've gone with him so whereas the other players right we've got one Romario-esque run and gun literally head down touch and go you know all about dribbling shooting and being literally bulldozing towards the net with physical contact strength speed pace power finishing everything the other Messi we just showed you was kind of like a slower more methodical type player where we still have the 90 plus passing we still have the 95 finishing and attacking awareness but we don't have that blistering pace like we have brilliant balance and acceleration but it's not into the 100 mark so this leo messi here that we're using is going to be out wide we're not going to be using with this formation a winger here we're pretty much going to be going to a 4-3-3 so that's essentially what we would go to here with this one here uh with frank ribery on the left or messi and uh then on the right we're going to have that messi card there so we can put Mbappe here and we could, you know, we can mess around a little bit with Ribery or we, whatever we want to do. We can have that as an attacking midfielder. We can do whatever we want to do here. But usually I would take out Mbappe from this and then I would put on a more kind of like classic attacking midfielder because we're not going to be using Messi for that role within this squad. We're going to be using him for that blistering pace. 100 speed, 101 acceleration, 88 balance, 91 dribbling, still got 90 finishing, not too worried about the heading, not too worried about the physical contact. This is what I call a burn and turn player. Literally, lads, you will see in the gameplay clips that I'm doing. He's insane, man. He's insane. Now, we haven't given any additional skills to this guy just yet, but he does have soul control off the rip, and he does have heading off the rip as well, which you're not going to use too much, but I still think it's a nice little additional uh, thing to have on the card, right? First time shot, one touch pass, true passing, all beautiful. I would potentially give him pinpoint crossing if you could, I would also give him outside curler if you could. He does have long range curler and long range shooting for cutting in and shooting. You saw those clips that I've already put up on the start of the video. But the build for this guy, lads, just to make this video and close it off, we've gone for one shooting, one passing, seven dribbling, 10 into dexterity, 14 into lower body, and then zero into the rest. Now, the reason we've gone so high with the lower body 
is to get that into the 100 mark, right? We've actually got it 100 mark because we're using 10 hag. That'll only go to 99 with these player build if you do not have 10 hag because he gives a plus one to speed. But le listen, try those builds out, right? I am telling you that that Argentina one will burn absolutely everybody up front. This Messi on the wing is just unbelievably like fast. And then the other Messi is just a creator extraordinaire. You know, I mean, if you are playing the other Messi here, you're going to try and get him into that position here. We will cover free Messi. I have a dedicated video coming to that. And of course, we will also be bringing a gameplay video, which is going to be very, very, very gameplay heavy with loads of clips and showing you guys how to get the best of them. Because these are the most game changing cards they've ever released. You don't want to have the wrong build and not work for you. I've come up against people using these messy cards and they've done nothing uh, against me. So yeah, that is kind of where we're going to stop this video, lads. Hope you enjoyed it. We will be back with the gameplay one. We'll go into more additional skills type stuff. I'm still testing things out. But listen, these cards, I've played with 10 plus hours with these cards already um, across different live streams and whatever. These cards are very, 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 very different with how you train them, right? So yeah, be careful of the builds. Check these builds out, and I'm telling you, you won't go wrong with these builds, okay? Especially the Argentina one and the uh, Messi, the young Messi, right? So I will talk to you in a bit, lads. Don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the content. We'll be back Monday with a live stream. I'll talk to you then.